All right, what is going on, everybody? My name is Schler. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be showing you guys the Dark Ether Sledgehammer, how I got it. It took a decent amount of time, around four to five hours for me, but I did mess up. So I can give you guys some tips on how to do a little bit faster and don't make the wrong moves like I did. But anyways, this is what the camel looks like on the sledgehammer itself. It changes the handle to black and obviously the end of it, the actual sledgehammer part of it is dark ether. Now the sledgehammer is kind of interesting because they extended the range on the weapon itself and decreased like how fast you can use it. Like the, the speed of hitting the zombies and everything like that, even in multiplayer is the same. You can't really tell too much of a difference for the range, at least in zombies, not too terribly much. It doesn't really matter. Um, they play practically the same except this one's slower, so I would not recommend using this, I'll be honest. But in multiplayer, this thing got range, bro. I'm not gonna cap. The lunge on this thing is insane, but like I said, you can't swing as much and as fast as the other melee weapons in the game. So you are sacrificing that part of it. Now on to how to unlock the weapon itself. You need to use the combat knife, kill two or more players rapidly in 15 different matches in multiplayer, of course. Now this is the class setup I used. I used perk greed so I could get ghost and I could also have ninja on so i could be dead silent some people also like to run double smoke so i think it's danger close i don't really know i forget the perk read for that one but you can run two smokes if that's what you prefer as well the the lethal really doesn't matter but just make sure you get the combat knife falling your primary doesn't matter either um i just preferred having ghosts and dead silence on for the most part aka ninja your best bet is probably to hop into a Nuketown 24 7 game. Now, I was testing out TDM, and TDM was also pretty good, but sometimes you get some weird maps, and you could, it'd be hard to get the double kill, you know what I'm saying? The little rapid kill. But this is the break off I usually use on this spawn on Nuketown. Just toss this, uh, yeah, stun. Toss the smoke, run right through it. There's usually a dude or two. Sometimes you can get off right off break, just like that, and you're pretty much good for the rest of the game. Uh, you do not want to leave the game like I just did here. Don't do that. Uh, I learned that the hard way considering I, I got to the 15th game and quite frankly i couldn't use the gun i couldn't use the sledgehammer it was still locked the bar was up the whole way but I, I just couldn't unlock it so whenever you do that make sure you play the full game out do another challenge for one of your guns or something get your cameras for them or just you know do whatever you want sit afk but make sure you know move your controller around that way you don't get kicked right all but yeah you guys have to stay in every single one of your games that's what takes the longest it's super unfortunate but you got to do what you got to do. Honestly, one of the better ways to go about this, not to just rush out of the middle and just, you know, spam smokes and all that stuff, as that is a viable strategy, sometimes the best way is just literally to sit inside of one of the houses, wait for the spawns to flip, and just get a quick little two-piece, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I think any any time a double kill uh, pops up, you should have a rapid kill, um, because a double kill, you know, it has to be in a short period of time. So I'm, I, I think, at least I could be wrong, if you get a double kill medal, that should be your rapid kill. But yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. It's just going to take a little bit, take some time out of your day to unlock. Um, the sledgehammer, honestly, isn't that good. So if you aren't really, yeah, I don't know why you'd want it, but you, if you want it, it's there. Moving on to leveling up the gun and getting the camos for them. Now, I did some in multiplayer, and I did most of them in zombies. Now, zombies were more enjoyable to me because... I just got done knifing for the longest time, and I was not trying to knife no longer. Um, the leveling was maybe a little bit faster in multiplayer, but it wasn't too much. Um, if you did round 10 exfils, which is what I did, I did like, I want to say like five of them or so, four or five of them. It levels up your gun about three or four times or so, and I didn't use any double XP tokens or nothing like that, double weapon XP, all that stuff. It was just straight base XP, did round 10 exfil, easy, or round 11, same thing. I always flip-flopped. I did a couple, like, one or two zombie games, and then I went over to multiplayer, did one or two of those, and then came back to zombies again. Just kept going back and forth and, and just kind of did that. It, it was more enjoyable that way and probably more enjoyable for you guys as well. That way you're not doing the same thing over and over again, hitting that melee button, you know what I'm saying? It gets a little bit repetitive. Once I get the sledgehammer to level, like, 18-ish, I basically just played zombies uh, for the most part and, and pretty much just got kills because you need 750 pack kills you need 750 regular kills all this other stuff and i just started working on the challenges itself once you start using it more and you start getting these challenges done you're gonna get more xp for the gun as well which in turn levels up your weapon soon enough my level was level 30 and i was pretty much chilling and all i had to do was just get the kills right here i'm using ether shroud i was using it for the big guys you could also use ring of fire i ended up using that later on uh to get the elite kills i think your biggest problem will be getting the elite kills um, but it's, it's probably best to have a partner to kind of, you know, distract them a little bit. We can have them a little bit as well. Um, or even just doing it solo and have another gun and weaken them up. I just pretty much did every single one of my games with, uh, the sledgehammer and that's it. I didn't buy any guns. Um, but no, it went by pretty fast. 
once you once you get the levels, you're chilling. The the challenges are not hard at all. You need like no kills for the for the weapon at all. And you could get it done. And honestly, you could get it done in one game if you wanted to just grind it out. But it's not even worth doing in one game. Just do a couple. Do like a 26 x fill or some or you know some short and just grind it out. It really don't take that long. The hardest part about it was literally waiting every single game to unlock it and then obviously leveling the gun. Which is always the worst part of every gun. The challenges usually in zombies aren't that bad. Aren't that bad, yeah. Aren't that bad. But yeah, man, this is what the camel looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me guys know if you guys are going for this. I don't think many people will be. I mean, the gun's pretty terrible. It's a, not a gun. It's a melee weapon. But honestly, this thing could be cracked. If you're doing like 1v1, like, you know, Nuketown knifing, that could be fire. I mean, it's got an insane lunge. I'm not going to cap. But if you're trying to get some, like, you know, feeds with this thing, it's not happening. I'm telling you that right now. It's just not happening. But yeah, man, it's going to be the whole video. Uh, I'm going to go get some rest. It is literally 2.30 a.m. And it is the first day of 2021. I have a headache. I still have a headache. I've had a headache for like a day or two. Uh, it's, it hasn't been a good day, bro. Uh, yikes. Anyways, guys, it's been Schlair, and I'm out. Peace.